Hi everybody, it's Mark again. And a lot of people ask me all the time, how do you adjust the hands on an antique clock to get them to play at the 12 o'clock position to get the uh, uh, clock cuckoo to play at the 12 or 6 o'clock position, which the hand would be straight up in the air. And here, as you can see, is playing about four or five minutes after. This lever here, and let me get something to point with. This tab here hits one of two pens that are on this wheel. You should be able to see these two pens that are on this wheel. There's one here and there's one there. And that tab hits those two pens as it is going around. Of course, I don't have the hour tube on. I just got the minute wheel on. And the way you adjust that is by bending this lever in this section here in or out. If it's plan after the hour you'd want to bend this 90 degree section out toward that way and that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to bend this out some And then I'm going to put the hand back on and watch what happens. I got to put the hand on the right way. All right, that was the 12 o'clock position there. So put it at the 6 o'clock position and see when it drops. And that is about straight up and down. I'm pretty close. Maybe uh, I'll bend it out some more. And try it again. Maybe that is closer. And the reason I got the um, minute wheel with minute pinion, which is this, because I was having trouble with the cuckoo clock uh, playing. Um, this is that 1908 Albert Vlieg movement. And I told you in an earlier video, if the fan is too tight, then it can't rotate enough to, uh, to function properly. But in this case, what was going on, because the clock would cuckoo, it would take 360 degrees for it to cuckoo one time. And what was going on was this lever right here is attached to a lever back here. It's attached to this lever right here that I'm pointing. This lever lifts up 
this cam right here which that cam is what lifts this lever right here out of the wheel but because there was just a um, slight difference in the distance of uh, of this wire this wire at the hump is what let me see if I can get a better view of it this wire right here lifts up that cam that lever here here and because it was just a, a a minute difference it would take 360 degrees before it would cuckoo whether it is depending on where it was in this wheel it would take 360 degrees of me turning this to get it to cuckoo and so uh, I had to adjust it um, I, you could get it to cuckoo just fine by hitting this lever when you hit this lever as you can see this lever it brings this tab out of the count wheel and so every time I did this, it would cuckoo just fine. But when it, when the hour wheel rotated, it would take 360 degrees of the minute hand for it to cuckoo one time. So instead of me uh, turning the uh, minute hand in my stand here, the minute hand would catch on my stand. So instead of me turning the minute hand, well, I had it in my stand because I got tired of turning this wheel, the great wheel. I just took this stuff off and you can easily rotate this with all the other materials off but um, anyway the purpose of this video is to show you how to and if I was to put this wheel back on And all these other wheels back on. You could see it better. Right there it dropped. It dropped a little bit before the hour. So I have to adjust it some more. I'm going to uh, look at it again. Yeah, it dropped just a little bit before the hour. So if you were paying attention to what I told you earlier, now I have to bend this to the right because it's dropping before the hour. So it has to be bent to the right just a little bit so now I'm going to try it again and I'm I'm using my thumb as a brake here because the brake system is this tension washer that I spoke about 
and several other videos. If I was to, uh, without, nah, got the wrong hand, sorry, not paying attention. That is pretty close. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me try it one more time. Might be... A minute past the hour so I'm going to slightly bend it that way just a little bit and try it one more time I'm going to leave it there without the break, which is that uh, tension washer. As this hand rotates, it's going to drop just like that. And that's the purpose behind that tension washer is to prevent this minute hand from dropping. From skipping as it skipped there and it skipped there and the reason why it's got some breaking um, resistance is because it's lever but as it comes back up it won't go back up because it needs that suspension washer on it. And if you have it too tight, you cannot easily set the hands. So, uh, again, purpose behind this video is to show you how to adjust your minute hand so it is right at the 12 o'clock position when it cuckoos. I hope y'all like this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please leave me some comments. Be back. Love to hear from you. And may God bless each and every one of you.